Hello and welcome back to a brand new Play 2 Plays. My name is Paul James. Today we're playing Stonefly from Flight School. Now, Flight School are the team that many people know as being responsible for Creature in the Well a few years ago. A stunning game that uh, just... Oh, look, still to this day, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And, and what we're seeing here with Stonefly as I go through the opening sequence, the opening cutscene, um, looks to be kind of similar in terms of the the artistic style um color pat color palette is diverse a bit like what we saw from creature in the well gameplay wise i actually don't know that much about it it was one of those ones that like i knew they were working on a game i had uh adam volker who works at flight school on dev diary uh my fortnightly gaming podcast uh, interview series jeez oh, almost 12 months ago now and he hinted that they're working on a new project um but didn't really outline any specifics. Like, I was not expecting a... <clears throat> oh, as the camera pans out, that's more the control I was expecting. Uh, if, okay, what am, I, what am I actually doing? I, I kind of missed the... Should be over on the shelf. Can you grab it for me? Oh yeah, there's like a surfboard to walk across over there. Uh, he'd, he'd kind of spoken a little bit about kind of the game and some of his his artwork, his design when it comes to the, the game itself, but didn't talk about how the game played or what it was or anything like that at the time. Stonefly was an unknown commodity at that particular stage. Back in my day. There's a kind of, I don't know, hobbity vibe to it. Like, seems as though they're living under the ground you've got the round doors I know that's very very surface level but it has that look and feel in that respect Creature in the Well is a really hard act to follow. Like, let's be crystal clear about that. This game is a very... This, this, it's got an uphill battle. Not because it's bad. Not in any way, shape or form. But it's... Uh, how would I know? I've barely started. But it's just Creature in the Well is that good. Leaves me really intrigued to see what this actually becomes. The game is available on PlayStation, it's on Xbox, it's on Switch, it's on PC, so you can get it pretty much anywhere. I guess we are. Dad's special rig. Cares more about that rig than he does about me. Right. Right. Interesting.
Okay. Okay, so these tracking flies are telling me I need to go this way. Um, the dialogue in the bottom left corner is an interesting spot for it because you, you're busy trying to focus on how you're navigating. I must say, I am not noticing what is being... I'm not noticing what's being said whatsoever. Okay. Oh. No, I need to stun you. Certainly, I'm certainly interested, but um, mechanically, it's
Look, it's abstract. Let's let's go with that. Yeah, get out of here. Like a, the, we've got a repair function there, but like that was prompting me a moment ago, even though I believe that I have full health, but I could be misinterpreting. So that's the intro scene there, that should be enough. We're going to wrap things up there. Um, it's the earliest little look there at Stonefly, the latest game from Flight School HQ. Go check them out on Twitter, go pick out the game. Uh, it cost 30 Australian dollars, so convert that to your, uh, your local equivalent. Game looks gorgeous, Adam and the team doing a fantastic job in that space. The game mechanically is really, really interesting. Not 100% clear on what's what's going on, but I think mechanically it'll start to sort itself out in time. I'm really enjoying what I'm playing. If you liked what you saw from this Player 2 Plays, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, all the buttons down below, hit the notification bell, that way you're alerted to every new video the moment it goes live on the channel. That includes patched, more Player 2 Plays, late game review, game school, and a whole bunch more. There's some awesome stuff there, so please subscribe and go and check it out. Visit the website player2.net.au for reviews, previews, opinion pieces, news, features, links to the podcast series, patched, the Player 2 Pixelcast, and Dev Diary. We're also on Patreon, patreon.com slash player 2 au kicking a few bucks, lower tiers, early access, high tiers, monthly episode exclusives, and finally there's Twitter. You can find me at Paul James Games, the website you'll find on player 2 au and until next time, that is Stonefly. I hope you liked what you saw. I'm enjoying it. There's a lot to learn still, but I'm really enjoying it. So thanks a lot for watching.
Tschüss.